Peace, family. How you doing? This is Dr. Samora Swagger signing in today. I uh, want to share with you a very, very, very interesting article that I read in Bloomberg News by author Eric Rostin. Um, it's funny because we often hear a lot of our uh, African uh, cultured griots uh, talk about the power of our melanin. Uh, melanin a carbon based pigment in our skin that gives us our color, our dark color. Uh, we talk, you hear them talk about the power of it. Um, and a lot of times, because we don't do the math, we don't do the knowledge, we don't do the research ourselves. Uh, excuse me if it's you hear the wind, I'm just walking outside. Um, and we don't really do the research ourselves. Uh, we may tend to think of it as quackery. We deny, we snicker and laugh. We say like, oh, you know, well, it's just going into some spiritual realm and all different types of things I've heard people say to dismiss um, the validity of what they're saying, but it turns out to be very, very much true. Now, um, the article written by Eric Rostin, goes on to talk about how a group of scientists at the prestigious Carnegie Mellon University uh, have collaborated with the National Institutes of Health and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA. Um, and anybody, if anybody knows how advanced and technologically sophisticated DARPA is, you know this isn't a joke. And so what they're saying is they have pretty much found a way to use melanin as an energy source to make batteries. Okay? So they are taking melanin and they are using it as an energy source to make batteries and check it out to make it to put inside smart pills that we can swallow and when you swallow these pills of course it can do whatever the designer wants it to do whether it's uh, pharmaceutical management um, it can monitor the body the smart pills I'm talking about uh, it has a lot of different uh, functions and operations to it uh, some of these smart pills even have built-in cameras so they can take pictures of your inside, uh, your intestinal tract, um, what we use the thing colonoscopies are for. Uh, some of these smart pills have these uh, micro cameras but have great resolution when it comes to the megapixels. But all this stuff needs power. And so they were saying how traditionally the power source is usually very inconvenient when it comes to these pills because you got to think of like uh you think of like a duracell triple a double a battery a nine volt battery these things are kind of bulky for you to be swallowing but they're saying with the melanin powered ones that it's 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 so small but yet so powerful that it's going to revolutionize the whole game uh better than lithium so you hear more talking about lithium batteries now, who would have thought that it's melanin? And like I said, this isn't quackery. Uh, this is real, in the lab, prestigious scientific institutions. Carnegie Mellon, DARPA, and the NIH, the National Institutes of Health. So, go figure, go research. Like I said, the name of the author of the article is Eric Rostin. And this was in Bloomberg. So, very official, very substantiated, documented, um, and peer-reviewed. So, now, with that being said, were our elders quacks? Or were they on a higher science that we just kind of downplayed? Hmm. I'll leave that to you to figure out. Anyway... This is Dr. Samora Swagger signing out of the doctor's office. You can hit me on Twitter at DocSwag06, D-O-C-S-W-A-G-G-06 on Twitter. You can hit my man Vigilante on Twitter at V-I-G-A-L-A-N-T-E-E. -E. 
This is yourblackworld.net, 3HM, two minutes and some change, and we're out. Peace.